Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff Walker. I'm a professional motocross and supercross racer and today marks day one of my shred down process before the start of the supercross season. So supercross and motocross are super high endurance based but you also have to be pretty strong to be able to wrestle that bike around for the length of the entire motos and from the start of the supercross season to the end of the motocross season is a really long span of time where you're doing a lot of high intensity cardio. You really have to pay super close attention to what you're eating, how you're training. You don't want to put on a bunch of muscle mass during the season because you want to stay as light as possible. I have to monitor my weight really closely because I'm already at a weight disadvantage so I need to be able to shed down as much weight as possible during the season and then given the fact that I also have a pretty slow metabolism, pretty low heart rate most of the time, I have to really monitor closely like how much I'm eating. I have to make sure I'm training the correct way. Um, I tend to put on muscle pretty fast so I have to make sure I'm not doing any strength training during the season, just all cardio and body weight workouts. When you're doing that really high intense cardio like that, burning all those calories, pretty hard on your metabolism and your body in general. Since we have such a short off season from August until December basically, it's only four months long, um, you gotta really make the most of your off season. Make sure you give your body plenty of rest and calories and make sure you're making the most of that time right after the end of the outdoor season so that by the time Supercross starts up again, you're all fresh and ready to go for the next season. So I've been seeing a lot of comments that you guys want to know what I'm doing this off season to make sure my body's all ready to go for the upcoming Supercross season. And uh, during my workout today, I figured, why not? It'd be easy enough to sit down in front of the camera, tell you guys what I'm doing this off season, what I've already done, because we're about halfway through this off season already. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be going through the same process because winter is coming up, so that's the off season for most of you guys. And then when the spring comes around, you're gonna wanna know what you should be doing to get ready for your next upcoming season. So I figured I'd sit down in front of the camera, tell you guys what I'm doing this off season to get ready for the upcoming Supercross season. Yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump into it. So like I said, the motocross season, super grueling on the body, especially with me having that slow metabolism and having to keep a really close eye on my weight like I was saying it's really hard on my already slow metabolism and it causes a lot of your muscle to atrophy and basically break down throughout the season because you're just constantly doing such high intense cardio and uh, I can definitely feel myself losing losing muscular strength throughout the season I'm gaining cardiovascular strength but I can definitely tell by the end of the outdoor season that some of that strength that I had built up during the off season is gone so as soon as the motocross season ended in September I really focused hard on spending the first two months of the off season for focusing on going to the gym and trying to build up that strength that I had lost. I really didn't worry about my calorie intake because you're not going to build any muscle if you're in a calorie deficit, which is what I'm in for most of the year to try and keep my weight down. So I wasn't really monitoring my calorie intake at all and I was just going to the gym heavily for like pretty much um, six days a week every single week. With school starting back up, I wasn't able to really ride my dirt bike very much. I uh, put a total of three hours on my dirt bike since I got down here in September. So really haven't been able to do too much motocross. But that's okay because like I said, I was really trying to focus on just building back that strength that I had lost during the season. So I was doing pretty rigorous gym workouts, a lot of heavy lifting. I was really focusing on my lower body and my back and shoulders because those are the muscles that you use most in motocross. Uh, you're doing a lot of standing and sitting and obviously holding yourself forward on the bike, which uses a lot of your back muscles. So that's what I was really focusing on. But super happy with the progress that I made. Visually, I can see that I'm putting on a lot more muscle than I had um, last off season and way more than I had during this season. Of course, my weight has gone up too with that muscle mass, but um, that's all part of the plan. So just for reference, I'm about six foot one and a half inches tall, and uh, during the season, I like to try and keep my weight right around the 170 mark, which is pretty hard to do for me, but uh, that's why I try and keep it as best as I can. Sometimes it'll fluctuate up to like 175. After this like two month power period that I was doing in the gym, um, I weighed myself this morning, and I'm all the way up to 182 pounds. I have a smart scale that breaks it down into body fat, muscle mass, water weight, and BMI and everything like that. So you guys can take a look at it. I know that stuff probably isn't super accurate because it's just kind of a cheap Walmart scale that does all that, but it'll give you guys some sort of reference to go on. Um, I'm sure it's, you know, within a certain limit of accuracy. So we'll see how those numbers change during the next two months while I'm trying to lean out before the season and it should be pretty interesting. But yeah, so you guys can see I'm about 10 pounds heavier right now than what I like to be during the, the race season. And hopefully I'm able to shed all that extra weight off and still maintain some of that power that I built up during the past two months because that's obviously the goal, be as light as possible and as strong as possible. So you guys may know that my girlfriend Bridget is actually personal trainer certified. She got her a certification recently and she's been really helping me this out season by building some uh, training programs for me so she built this program that I'll put up on the screen right now to help me shred down over the next two months. So this is basically what I'm gonna be doing every week. It's gonna consist of a lot of cardio, like uh, basically any sort of cardio I can do that's still gonna use some strength. So I'm gonna focus really heavily on rowing and swimming. Those are really muscular based endurance 
workouts that get you know your upper body involved too. Running and cycling are great as well for building up that cardiovascular system, but uh, the more you can get your arms and shoulders and everything involved, the better. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of rowing and swimming as well. Luckily, I'm down here in Florida, so swimming is gonna be pretty easy for me. Also gonna be doing a lot of HIIT workouts, which stands for high intensity interval training. Uh, there's a lot of great videos out there that explain what that is, so I'm not gonna get too deep into it. But you guys can see, I've got a couple of HIIT workouts planned out throughout the week. And then I'm also gonna maintain one day of heavy weightlifting just to try and maintain that muscle mass that I built up. This is just the beginning phase, so I'm sure throughout the weeks as I get into the program, I'll alter it a little bit. But I'll be doing some check-ins over the next couple of months to let you guys know what I'm changing, what I'm adding, and uh, just to let you know how my body is changing throughout this process. But speaking of my body, I guess I better get some before shots for you guys so that I have something to reference to later and see the difference that this program did for me. Typically, I don't like to do stuff like this because I'm actually really self-conscious on my body. Always have been. I was kind of an overweight kid, so uh, this has always been kind of a touchy thing for me. So this is actually kind of difficult for me, but uh, I'm just gonna do it anyways for the sake of the video and uh, also just for myself so that I can see the progress that I'm making. So as you guys can see here, definitely not some weapon of mass power and destruction. I'm still pretty lean, but I'm definitely quite a bit bigger than I was during the season, both in terms of muscle mass and body fat. Typically I'm quite a bit leaner than this and uh, definitely way less muscle mass than this. So I'm actually really happy with how the past two months went with the power phase. It's kind of crazy looking at those because I feel like I'm not even looking at my body just because it looks so radically different from what it uh, did this season and for the past couple seasons. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what my body looks like once I shed off all that extra fat that I've put on. Definitely happy with the muscle mass that I've put on and the muscle tone that I've been able to achieve with the power phase that I went through, but I'm definitely gonna be really stoked to shed all that extra fat off and lean that muscle out and see what I'm looking like in two months when the season starts. As for my nutrition over the next two months, like I said, I have to really carefully monitor how many calories I'm putting into my body. Just from testing throughout the past couple of years, I've been able to find out that my maintenance calories is around 2,200 calories a day. So what that means is if I don't work out at all, my body will burn roughly like 2,200 calories in a day. Um, so that means that if I eat 2,200 calories every single day without working out, I won't gain or lose any weight, which that number is pretty low for somebody my height and um, with my activity level. Normally it's more like 25 to 2,600, but like I said, I run a really low heart rate and therefore have a pretty slow metabolism. So. Uh, my body was just built for endurance and survival, I guess. I'm not able to eat a lot and maintain my weight. I have to really monitor it carefully. And in order to safely lose weight, you should eat about 500 calories lower than your maintenance calories. So right now I'm using an app called MyFitnessPal um, to closely monitor how much food I'm putting in my body and uh, to make sure I'm getting the right ratio of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates as well as other things like fiber, sugar, trans fats, saturated fats, all that good stuff. And I have it set for 1,700 calories right now, which obviously 2,200 minus 500 is 1,700. So, so you guys may or may not know, but in one pound of body mass, there's about 3,500 calories. So if you're in a deficit of 500, you should expect to lose about a pound a week. If you just do the math, seven times 500 is 3,500, which is the exact amount that's in a pound. So you guys can make sense of that. And I have about 10 weeks before the season starts. so. You guys can do the math. I expect to lose about 10 pounds during this process. Obviously, there's huge fluctuations from day to day with you know, how much sodium you intake, which affects how much water you're retaining or just the volume of the food, even if you're, I mean, if you eat a huge salad, it could make you weigh more the next day, even though you took in less calories. So I'm gonna be focusing mostly on a weekly average weight rather than day to day. So you guys will see some pretty gnarly fluctuations, but the overall weekly trend should be down, hopefully. And then by the end of this thing, hopefully we're sitting back around 170, which is what I like to be for the season. And hopefully we'll be super shredded, super lean, and ready to go tackle some super cross whoops. <laughs> so beyond just nutrition, it's obviously also really important to make sure I'm taking some supplements to make sure that I'm doing this as safely as possible. Weight loss can always be risky, especially when you're a professional athlete because you wanna make sure that you're maintaining that muscle mass that you worked so hard to put on. So you guys know Steel Supplements have been a huge supporter of me um, for the past year. They've been really, really helping me out on the fitness side of things because that's something I've always struggled with. And uh, after consulting with them, we've worked out a pretty good program for me supplement wise that has really, really helped me over the past year. So the biggest one for me has been taking their pre-workout before all my gym workouts. I used to hate going to the gym. I would always just get so tired like midway through my workout and I would wanna leave in like a half hour. But now honestly going to the gym has become like my favorite thing to do because this stuff just keeps me there for like two hours. 
Um, it has super, super clean ingredients. I know some pre-workouts can be pretty sketchy to take, but their new pre-workout is just called Pre. You guys can see here. It was designed with endurance athletes in mind, so it's really, really clean. It's meant to provide you some really good sustained energy. It's not something that's just gonna blow your brain up for like 30 minutes. Um, it's supposed to last for a couple of hours, so I've been really digging this stuff. Uh, I've been using it before every single workout to help me grind through it. So this is definitely critical for doing those HIIT workouts and strength-based workouts. Next up, probably one of the biggest parts of my nutrition is making sure that I'm getting the right amount of protein. But you'd be surprised, it's actually kind of hard to um, make sure that you're getting the right amount of protein. You should be eating about 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body mass that you have. So for me, that's like anywhere from 140 to 180. So I'm gonna be relying heavily on the Steel Supplements protein powder to help me make sure that I'm getting all those in. And obviously it just helps you recover after those workouts. So definitely gonna be using the uh, Steel Supplement Whey Isolate stuff. I personally love the chocolate and the Snickerdoodle. Those are my favorites. So if you guys go and um, check that out, you should definitely consider getting those. I also really hev heavily rely on the Steel Supplements Anabolic. Basically this is a carb drink to help you get through the long endurance workouts. So obviously Obviously, um, I drink this stuff while I'm at the track all day. I drink it while I'm doing bicycle rides, long runs, long workouts in the gym where I'm doing a lot of like heavy cardio. Uh, this stuff just keeps you going, keeps you energized. It makes sure you don't blow through those glycogen stores in your muscle and then get too exhausted to keep going. So really love the anabolic. Then just a couple other things I always take um, throughout the year, whether I'm shredding down or not, just a daily multivitamin. Make sure you get the uh, vitamin C, B12, fish oil, all that stuff. Fish oil is super good for your joints. Make sure you don't get um, joint pains. Me being so tall and doing all that running and stuff. And with my knee injuries, it's really important for me to take care of my joints, so definitely recommend that. And then also an adrenal support. I know I keep talking about it, but when you're on reduced calories, it can wreak havoc on your adrenal gland, which basically is what secretes all the hormones, which keeps your energy levels high. So um, I'm gonna be taking adrenal support just to make sure that my hormones are in check and I'm not getting fatigued for no reason. But yeah, that's basically my plan for the next two months. I'm gonna be really focusing on sticking to that schedule. Obviously, I'll be riding my dirt bike as well as that schedule, and I'll probably be throwing in extra runs throughout the week because uh, it's really easy for me to just throw my shoes on and go for a run before class or after class or between classes. Um, so as I change that program, I'll keep updating you guys. I'll probably do like a weekly or once every two weeks check-in just, just to let you guys know how the weight loss is going, um, keep you updated on whatever updates I'm making to the program. And then of course, once this thing is all done, I'm gonna have to do a big before and after thing. So hopefully you guys didn't get enough of me flexing for you. You actually look forward to some more flexing in the near future. But anyways guys, that's a pretty basic overview of it. Obviously it goes into way more detail and if you guys wanna hear more about it, I'd love to make some more videos or just talk to you guys through emails or DMs or whatever. So if you have any more questions drop them down in the comments um, it'll give me a good idea for future videos and everything if you guys want to know more about what I was doing for the powerlifting side of things right after the season or get more in depth about what I'm doing during the shred down process but anyways guys I think that's gonna do it for me thank you very much for watching as always um, if you enjoyed this video definitely consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing otherwise thank you for stopping by and hopefully we'll see you again in the near future peace out guys